In this video, I'm going to share to you top 3 gaming and cryptocurrencies and that will make millionaires. Yes, a millionaire. I'm going to be talking about the top 3 cryptocurrency gaming projects inside of the metaverse that you need to be aware of and I promise you, you will make so much profit with these. But before we start, Welcome to Felicity Banks, where we teach you how to make money online in the easiest way. Don't forget to smash the like video, turn on the notification bell, and subscribe to my channel. Now, let's jump into the video and talk about the first cryptocurrency gaming project that I am most excited about. Inside of the members, first project is called GenoPets. Now, GenoPets actually raise millions of dollars from popular private equity and venture capitalists such as Pantera and even Convoy Venture, all of these. Now, you know pets is something like I've never seen before. But to put it in perspective, I think it's, you know, pets as some sort of cross and mixture between Pokemon and some sort of massive RPG game based in the metaverse. And so, while there are elements that actually do feel familiar unlike other games that have come out in the past, I think you know that this is something that's actually quite unique and it's going to make a big splash when they actually do fully launch the entire ecosystem. Great! Now, essentially, how do you know that it works? They ask a series of questions and based on the answer to those questions, and it actually means you are completely unique NFC in your own style, using your own biometric and survey data to create your metaverse representation inside of their world. Isn't it great? Another thing that I like about the Genio Project is they have over 162,000 members inside of their Discord. And they have a very active social media channel so when it comes to actually the implementation and roadmap, a new introduction of brand new portions of their game, things that they're releasing related to it, and many other exciting technological advances. You get the latest updates and that's going to help you learn and venture about it more. Now, do you know, because it does have a coinciding coin like nearly all projects called Dream Tokens, at the primary benefit of Dream Tokens actually comes in a form of governance staking, like many other projects, but also, they're going to reward Dream Token holders with brand new in-game content, and so here, there's a popularity of Pokemon nearly sustained for like 25 years plus. I feel extremely confident in this project especially with the millions of dollars of backing from popular venture, capital, and private equity, it has a lot of upward momentum and a lot of room to grow. The second project that I'm about to share to you guys is actually a two-for-one because it doesn't feel right to have a cryptocurrency gaming video without mentioning two of the largest projects, Decentraland and Sandbox. Check it out right now. It is the biggest project and with the largest market cap, I think it probably has less room to grow than the other projects. Decentraland and Sandbox, we have a lot of really interesting technology and ways that people can actually take advantage both in a casual way and more for hardcore game. Now, essentially, Decentraland is a game where people can actually buy and sell and create their own neighborhoods inside a digital world. And in my opinion, is similar in certain ways to things that we've come to know and love and to become incredibly popular games such as Minecraft. Now, there's 92,000 plots of land within Decentraland, and most people only actually own a single plot of land. Cool, right? Now, some people have more than one, but most of the actual corporations that own more than one parcel of land are actually corporations that are buying those parcels of land mostly in a speculative way, assuming that those parcels of land and they are fine and it will actually go up in value and you can buy accessories in game items using the centralized in game token called the manager and one of the most popular ways actually utilize in game plots of land is actually by creating art exhibit within those art exhibits actually offering the ability for people to buy that are in real world currencies meaning that you can actually essentially set up your own art gallery without having to go find a building rent the building, negotiate with the landlord, pay a bunch of expensive fees. You can actually just put up your beautiful artwork, be creative as you can, and in a few clicks of a button inside of the metaverse for a fraction of the price, 
But the cool thing is, it's not only about art exhibits. You can also play fun mini games here with your friends and even socialize with other users inside of actual parties in the metaverse. And many other use case scenario with solid talking all mix and a huge user base already that's growing every single day. It's fun here while you earn. The overall long-term project is through the roof. The second project that we mentioned is called Sandbox. And you can't mention Decentraland without actually mentioning Sandbox as they have a lot of similarities and also some differences. Now, in the beginning, similar to Minecraft, Sandbox is a very simple game that literally dealt with pixels. Now, similar to how Manta is actually the currency for Decentraland, Sandbox is a currency called Sand. Original, I know. The graphics are simple and very understandable to a massive Minecraft user based that took years and millions of dollars actually popularized ideas so it feels very familiar. Now, the graphics within Sandbox actually feel very consistent where inside of Decentraland, it can at times feel like you're actually playing in multiple different worlds versus actually the same expansive immersive world as far as virtual open game world where you can go and build art exhibits and play many games of your friend or build whatever you want. Decentraland and Sandbox are not going anywhere and I only see a lot of room for growth for both of these action games. The third crypto gaming project and all that we're going to be talking about is called Ultra. It's essentially a platform that gives developers of other projects tools that make their lives easier. One of the things that I like most about all drugs that they offer, things that every cryptocurrency gaming company will eventually need and have to decide for themselves whether it makes more sense to build themselves or simply leverage or cards pre-existing network for their fit soldier offers back in distribution run and marketplaces and cross-device compatibility that allows users to play from their phones, their computers, and back and forth with a seamless experience. It's focus on decentralization and blockchain-based games, this developer infrastructure platform has a lot of potential room to grow as more and more cryptocurrency gaming developers actually get involved in the space and start building their own games, projects, and points. And I know I only mentioned three cryptocurrency projects and coins, but we actually are going to get an honorable mention, a project that I've been following for a long time. It's actually called, and relax, you probably heard about Dr. Labs when you first heard about NBA Topshop and people actually buying, you know, NBA cards for outrageous prices and really in the very early stages of the popularity boom when it comes to NFCs. Now, Dapper has done a lot of things that are very difficult to do including securing license agreements with companies like the USC and the NDA, which are both multi-multi, zero-dollar companies. Now, since the actual introduction of Flow, they're all point, you can see that they actually hit their peak during the initial NFC craze. Everybody and their mother was talking about he's an NBA top shop, but you've seen that there have been about 50% or more decline since that peak. And what that tells me is if you believe in the long-term potential of a project, they can do something as difficult as securing those licensing agreements and you think that collectibles industry is going to continue to grow with the introduction and popularization of entities, then maybe Dr. Labs and their coin flow might be something that's worth looking into as well. Don't forget to show some love by smashing the like button down there and comment how this works for you. Before we go, I just want to remind you guys to make clicking a habit. More clicks, more money. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell. Smash the like button and I will see you in the next video.